What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. So on Samsung's Galaxy Unpack Day where they showed off their new Z Flip and Z Fold 5 series devices, Google just won up their party and announced Android 14 Beta 4.1. Now normally .1 and dot incremental updates for beta builds with Android are not significant at all. Usually they come with a couple of bug fixes here or there, but this one here today actually has over 30 bug fixes. I want to say it's almost like 34 in total, and some of them are pretty significant for issues we were having uh, on some of the beta devices. So what we're doing is we're installing it on our Pixel Fold right now. We're going to take a look at the build number. I know obviously this is still in regards to the security patch on July. We're still in July. Obviously, there's not a new security patch here yet, but we're going to take a look at all of these bug fixes. Some of this video might be a little tedious just going over those, but we'll see if we see any other visual cues and aids to see if anything's been changed on the user facing end, aside from coding on the back end. But I'm excited. Google's making progress on Android 14, and this could be one of the better beta builds we've had so far with stability improvements, especially for the newer Pixel releases, such as the Fold. Let's go ahead, jump right into it, and see what we have. So beta 4.1 just finished installing and going through our normal process. First, we're gonna check the temperature of the device. And one thing I even realized right after is just how cool it was. Now, the caveat to this is, as you guys are well aware that have Android devices, this 44 megabyte update literally took almost an hour and a half to update. Uh, Google, if you're watching, come on guys, please work on that. It's insane and it's kind of embarrassing. But little rant over, let's jump right into this. And what I can tell you is it is running very smooth. So this build, as you can see here, Android 14, upb4.230.623.007. And for those of you on beta one, you'll know this is just a slight number increase from 0 0.005 that it was prior. We'll jump into that here in a second. But from just a smooth operation standpoint and how the device works on a regular level of how you would assume the device should operate, everything is running very, very smooth. Everything's flowing well. And I actually haven't seen many hiccups yet. I'm not gonna go through all of these settings. We're gonna keep this video short and sweet today, but if you actually go into the phone and actually look at everything and try to jump around for everything you would anticipate seeing, everything looks great, everything works. No new menu things. I haven't seen anything user-facing as far as an update change was. Like I said, you can see we're still on that July 5th security build. This should be updated here in another couple of weeks, but for now, that is what we're sitting on. If you want to actually look on the beta site and see the list of everything that's changed for the release notes, you can see they have them updated. We are on 4.1 here, as opposed to beta 4 that was out a couple of weeks ago. So right off the bat, like we were talking about, the build has simply changed from the 0.005 to 0.007, signifying that it is a smaller upgrade, as we're aware. However, all of these bug fixes that has come out is pretty impressive nonetheless. So you can see just how substantial some of these bug fixes are. Again, I'm not gonna go through all of these, but just a couple call outs here where they fixed an issue in some cases after a user performed a system, uh, a user performed the system back action. So literally simply sli swiping to the left or right, the app couldn't be launched again until the device restarted. We didn't experience that, but we have heard that that was a significant issue. Also, there was an issue where um, the, the phone would prevent Wi-Fi calling from working in some cases. That we actually did realize. Uh, we have T-Mobile, so T-Mobile Wi-Fi is something we use pretty regularly, and that did kind of rear its head a couple times. There was a fish, uh, an issue that was fixed that prevented notification groups from expanding properly from the notification shade. That was something else we got because we do get a lot of uh, deal alert notifications and obviously other notifications that stack. Uh, yeah, you'd be tapping on it and it wouldn't work yada, yada, yada. Um, but yeah, again, guys, so many updates in this minor bug fix release. Go check it out on the Android developer beta site. You will be able to see everything that was new here and fixed. Aside from that, when we were scrolling through and running through other daily tasks, it worked. Everything has been really, really good. We still don't have new options as we we're hoping for for the dual 
um, layouts and all of that. Again, not to be expected, but just to call out that it is not here still. So yeah, keeping this one short and sweet, guys. Go check it out if you're looking at getting the beta or have it running. Get this new point one update. It uh, it definitely is worth your while. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.